Hi, I'm Paul Rudzinski from Cleveland, Ohio. My question is, I've had three marriages that have failed. Would it be dishonest if I didn't tell my new girlfriend about my ex-wives? Well, <clears throat> I'll tell you. If you tell your girl you've had three ex-wives, if she's the right kind of woman, she's going to give that some thought. She's going to think about that. Because let me tell you something. If you got three, you're going to have four. Hi, I'm Doug Porter from Mount Valley, California. And my question is, is it OK if I taste the grapes at the grocery store? Well, you know damn good and well what a grape <laughs> tastes like. Now, why would you want to go in the store and taste them? You know, you just want a free, that's all there is to it. Either you buy them or you don't buy them. You don't go in there and eat them. Hi, I'm Brian from Rockin, Ohio. I've gone out with this great girl a few times, and I know she's into me. I just don't know how to make the first move. Any pointers? Run your hand up under her dress. That's one good way. Run it all the way up there. If you can't get through the bottom, then come down through the top and get it in dress. Do something. Just don't lie there. You can do something. Hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm from Murray, Kentucky. And I have a question for you. How do I get my husband to stop adjusting himself in public? I know that, I know that, that is true because men do do, they do that. They grab hold of their penis and they're shifting it around and they're spreading their legs and all this that, and other. And it, it absolutely, it looks so bad. It's singing looking. It's, Almost like he's fondling his uh, penis, you know, playing with it. I mean, I don't know whether he's getting a thrill out of that or what, but it's, a, it's really very obnoxious. It really is. Hi, my name is Dustin. I'm from Alberta, Canada. And my question is, what is the best way to remedy a hangover? What do you fool you? There's only one thing for that, and that is don't drink that much. I mean, my Lord, your legs will tell you when to quit. Stand up, and I guarantee you, your legs will tell you you've had one too many. Hi, I'm Mary Jane from Minnesota. The older my husband gets, the less foreplay he wants to have. Why is this? I don't know. I mean, uh, all they want to do is hop on and stick that thing in and stick it out in about two or three seconds and have that pleasure and that's it. And they leave the poor old woman lying that panting because a woman cannot have a climax in that short a length of time. And that's the thing that's wrong with most sex life today. A woman takes much longer to have a climax. A man can go back there. That's it. Hi, my name's Debbie. I'm from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Our daughter moved back into the house after college, and the problem is she brought her lazy boyfriend with her, and now he's freeloading. What do we do about this? I would kick his ass out the door. I would not allow my daughter to associate with him. Hi, I'm Kerry from Lowell, Massachusetts. My wife likes to light candles to get in the mood. The only problem is she looks better in the dark than she does by candlelight. Any suggestions? You know, you are bastards. You know, you have to say something like that. Hey, you, 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 you know, if you were my husband, I'd kick you in. I, you know what I'd do? I would light a candle and stick it up your ass. 